The spread of the Wuhan coronavirus is now worsening. The number of confirmed cases is skyrocketing in China. As of today, there are more than 4,600 cases reported and more than 100 deaths. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here with what's happening closer to home. Mark? Nick, the CDC announced this morning there are still only five confirmed cases of the emerging virus in the U.S. Suspected cases exist in 26 states, with a possible one here in Pennsylvania, an exchange student who traveled from China to Philadelphia. So what do we need to know about this virus to protect ourselves as best we can? Part of the risk we face right now is that we don't yet know everything we need to know about this virus. That word from Washington Tuesday morning about what's called the novel coronavirus, an upper respiratory infection that started in late 2019 in Wuhan, China. The Wuhan strain commingled um, with other common strains of coronavirus. According to Geisinger Infectious Diseases Specialist Allison Brzezinski, that commingling turned a typically mild infection into something potentially deadly. But we are monitoring the situation very closely. People diagnosed with coronavirus start off with something as simple as a cough. It's not uncommon that they present like they would with any other respiratory type infection, and that includes fevers, body aches, cold. Even pneumonia. The incubation period of novel coronavirus is two weeks. Our current assessment is that the immediate health risk of this new virus to the general public is low in our nation. Although we don't have um, an immediate concern in this area, we are ensuring that we're screening all of our patients properly. That means asking Geisinger patients about recent travel to China. While U.S. health officials insist the coronavirus outbreak should not impact Americans' day-to-day -day life, it's still considered a public health threat. And I think it's important that we're continuing to monitor the situation daily. While there is currently no vaccine to ward off novel coronavirus, Dr. Brzezinski advises some hygiene basics. Wash your hands frequently and avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Head to pahomepage.com to follow live information about the coronavirus outbreak. With the help of Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.